Uh, we've got uh, my neighbor to the north as a Coloradan, uh, and we've got Governor Matt Mead. And uh, Matt Mead was elected as a or uh, elected governor in 2010 and re-elected in 2014 after serving as the U.S. Attorney for the District of Wyoming uh, since 2001. Uh, and Governor Mead has done a, a tremendous amount uh, for sportsmen and women in the state as well. Uh, recently announced a, a task force to look at modernizing the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and, and how that's funded and how sportsmen can be uh, more active and engaged with the agency. Uh, he's worked tirelessly to hold some of the federal agencies accountable for uh, wildlife decisions that are impacting the state's ability to, to manage their fish and wildlife. Uh, in 2011, uh, Governor Mead also signed uh, Senate Joint Resolution 1 uh, which ultimately referred uh, a ballot question to the voters of Wyoming asking if there should be a constitutional right to hunt and fish in the state. Uh, I believe that passed by 80 something percent, 70 something percent. Uh, needless to say, it wasn't close, but uh, he played an integral role in that and, and we appreciate his support for codifying that in the Constitution for future generations. Thanks Governor Mead and thank you for being here. Thank you, Annie, and uh, thank you all for a lovely evening. It's nice to have these Wyoming shrimp here. Enjoy them. <laughs> so uh, my wife Carol is here with me, and I've got a uh, I've got a tip uh, for all you spouses. Uh, every year in, in in Torrington, Wyoming, we have the Two Shot Goose Hunt, which is a wonderful, wonderful event. And uh, so uh, a couple years ago, I said, Hey, Carol, come to the Two Shot Goose Hunt with me. And it was one of those sort of bad years. And so we got there, you know, before the sun came up. And we spent about seven hours in the pit without even seeing a bird. And I'm telling you, if you want to test how strong your marriage is, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> Security's sort of waiting outside the pit, and Carol's like, where do I go to the bathroom? <laughs> There's a lot of logistical issues. But anyway, what we, uh, we experienced with my wife uh, and with my two uh, young kids is the opportunity to hunt and fish in Wyoming and elsewhere. I go every year to the uh, uh, Grand National Quail Hunt in Eden, Oklahoma. We have the One Shot Antelope Hunt in Wyoming. These are great events, but it's not just about the hunt, it's about the memories. And when I think about what all of you do, I'll just relate one quick story I uh, heard recently from one of our game wardens in Wyoming. He said, hey, uh, Gov, you know, I unfortunately, uh, had to go to a few f funerals lately. And he said, you know what they talk about at funerals? So they don't talk about how many days you spent in the office. They don't talk about what title you had. What they talk about is the time somebody got to spend with grandpa fishing, or the time you got to go on the first hunt with mom, the time you got to spend out in the wildlife. And so when we talk about hunting and fishing as our heritage, it certainly is that. But it's more than that. It builds those special lifetime memories that we all cherish. It provides an appreciation for hunters, fishermen, and non-hunters and non-fishermen to appreciate what we have in our states so that we can say for generations forever to come, they will have that same wonderful experience that connects us to the land. And as our cities get bigger and people don't have an appreciation for that, hunting and fishing is one way we can continue to make sure all the generations have an appreciation for the outdoors, the recreation, the wildlife that we cherish. You all help provide that for all the states. So my thanks to all of you, and uh, I hope, uh, I think this is my fifth year coming, and I, I just, uh, it's fun to see, I think this is one of the years we've had more governors, a lot of Republicans, a lot of Democrats, which is another wonderful thing. This is as true bipartisan as you can get. And so thank you all, and thank you for the time, and those good Wyoming shrimp. Thank you. <laughs>